Hi kids, welcome to Something More. This is Matt and today we are exploring Goldie Blocks and the Spinning Machine from Goldie Blocks. Goldie Blocks is a really exciting company. They are a toy company with a purpose. Their goal is to create toys that empower girls to be leaders in STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And I think that is really excellent. We need more girls and women in those fields. So if you are a girl and you love science, technology, engineering, and math, or just basically making things go, then I think you're really going to like Goldie Blocks and the spinning machine. And also, I would have to say that if you are a boy and you are into science, technology, engineering, and math, you would also love Goldie Blocks in the Spinning Machine because I have five-year-old boy-girl twins. My daughter received this particular toy as a gift for her birthday and my son really loves it too. They have a lot of fun with this toy. It's really about exploring the concept of belt drives and how they work, what makes things go. And if you are into that, then I think you're going to be really into this toy. So boys, don't be intimidated by the girl on the box. Goldie Blocks is fun for everyone. Okay, so here we go. So first things first, ages four through nine it includes a book and 33 pieces. And there are a lot of little pieces, so if you have little ones in the house too, make sure you keep it out of the reach of children ages 3 and younger. So boys, girls, if you have a little younger brother or sister, please keep it out of their reach. And let's take a look at the back of the box. Okay, here's what makes the spinning machine unique. And this I see this with other Goldie Blocks toys too. What's fun is that you read along. It actually comes with a book that's by the number one here is a picture of the book. And it says, one, read along. This is the story of Goldie and her motley crew of friends. Two, build along. Help Goldie solve problems by building with her. She'll show you the pieces and how they work. Three, spin. You did it. You've built Goldie's spinning machine. Now you can create your own designs. This is a really cool set. It comes with a lot of great pieces. Let's uh, real quick before I open it. Let me just show you the side of the box here because they encourage you once you start making some of your own designs with the spinning machine to submit your inventions to GoldieBlocks.com. And they have some examples here. The bear pedestal, the roller derby, Crankopede. All of these were designed by girls ages 7, 6, and 6. So if they can do it, you can do it too, kids. All right, let's check this out. Opening the box. And this is what you see when you open the box. You get the book. Goldie Blocks in the Spinning Machine, created by Debbie Sterling, as well as all of these fun pieces, 33 pieces and characters. And let's take them out and take a look at them. So first, we have her dog. His name is Nacho. He's really cute. There's Nacho. Ruff. Handsome little guy. Then we have a ballerina that is also a dolphin. She's a ballerina dolphin, because why not? We have a bear. He is from Brazil. His name is Flavio. And he is clearly a business bear. You can see his little briefcase there. A sloth named Phil because Phil is really the perfect name for a sloth, isn't it? I love that name for a sloth. And finally, we have a cat with a really fun name. Uh, this cat's name is Benjamin Cranklin. And Cranklin usually looks a little bit cranky in the book, so it's a fitting name. Okay, what else do we have? We've got the crank. Speaking of crank... There's a crank right there that you're going to use that to reset the toy. These washers comes with five washers, which 
fit on the wheels on the pegboard. And I'll show you how that works. Okay. And several axles, 10 in all, which we'll use. What I'm going to do is take all the pieces out here and show you everything. And then I'll build the first piece, the first big piece suggested in the book because it's pretty fun and it gives you an idea of how it works. There are 16 other ideas suggested in the book beyond what's in the story. So those are the wheels, five wheels. And we also, if I can get this wheel out, have a belt drive. This is the belt drive that makes it go. And then you lift this out. And this is great because you can be really organized when you put the toy away each time because those pieces go in and out pretty easily. It also comes with the pegboard that's kind of the centerpiece of the whole thing. It's what you set everything up on. All right, let's get all this out of the way. And we'll set this up. Okay. So, you've got your pegboard. And you've got your book. Here's the book again. And the book is great. And I imagine it's copyrighted, so I, I don't want to, you know, we got to be mindful of the copyright, so I'll show you a little bit of it so you get an idea of it, but I'm not going to show you too much. I don't want to give anything away. It says, Ahem, listen up. I like reading, it's true, but I like building too. If you see this symbol, try to do what I do. And then you'll see at the bottom of the page, on several pages, it'll have that symbol. On this one it says to find certain pieces. And then on other pages it'll say things like, stick an axle into the pegboard. All right, that's how that works. So um, that's the book and let's start building. So what you do is you use the axles in the pegboard. We'll set these up real quick here. To build the spinning machine, you're going to use, I think you use pretty much all of the pieces to do it. You do use all the pieces to do it. So that's great. So you're gonna use all 10 axles. They fit in there pretty snug. Toward the end of the book, it suggests using the washers to make the wheels spin better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the washers because I have found that to be true. Once we started using the washers, we use the washers on everything now. Okay, the wheels go on. And these little cubes go on the inside posts and they act as guides for the belt drive to keep it in place. Like so. And then to add the extra element of fun, part of the book has you using all the characters to ride on the wheels. So they all get to go for a ride. Nacho goes on first. And then our dolphin ballerina. Oh, her name is Katinka, by the way. I'm not sure if I said that before. And we've got the cat Benjamin. Benjamin Cranklin. Good old Phil. Flavio. And then you got this nice long belt drive that you feed into it like so. Do this way instead here. Put the belt drive on and you feed it through. Oh no, Benjamin Cranklin fell down. Come back, Benjamin. All right.
like so. And then, once you kind of got that set up, you take Nacho off and you put the crank on and you use the crank to draw in the belt. Because so you've got several feet of belt left over when you're done. Oops, that's not working very well. I'm going to pull in all the belt. I'm having trouble with the crank, so I'm just going to hand crank it. And you get the idea of how it works already. The characters are spinning. So this is our spinning machine. And in the book, Goldie builds this to take her friends for a ride. And here they go. Whee! That is how the spinning machine works. You spin them one way, and then you crank them back up and spin them the other way. So this is the first of the different designs that you can create with the spinning machine. And then, like I mentioned, in the back of the book, it has 16 additional designs and they encourage you to make your own. It's fun even just to make variations on the spinning machine itself. My daughter's been having a lot of fun with that. And there it is. That is Goldie Blocks and the Spinning Machine from Goldie Blocks, created by Debbie Sterling. It's a lot of fun. Kids, I, I think you're really going to enjoy it. And uh, definitely check it out and put in the comments what you think, you know. Uh, let us know what you think of it, you know. I, I think it's great. My kids love it. Do you love it? Let us know. All right, thanks so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Something More for more fun videos. And thanks for watching.